Hello everyone. My name is Zabi. Today I am going to teach class 10th English poem 4 How to tell wild animals. Students, those who did not subscribe our channel, please subscribe and press bell icon for the notifications. Now, first of all, I will tell you about the poet. A student, this poem is composed by Caroline Wales, who was born on June 18, 1862, in Rahave, United States. She was a prolific American writer, remembered largely for her popular mysteries, children's book, and humorous verse. From 1900, Wells gave herself entirely to literary work and over the next four decades, she produced a flood of books, some 170 titles that fell into several genres, children's stories, mystery and detective stories. Wells was especially noted for her humor and she was a frequent contributor of nonsense verse. Her first book was published in 1986. Now students, listen very carefully the theme of this poem. In the poem How to Tell Wild Animals, the poet describes various wild animals and their qualities. In this poem, she explains how we can recognize the Asian lion, the Bengal tiger, the leopard, the bear, the hyena, and the crocodile. Now students, see the summary. Please go on, don't go through the text. Listen it very, very carefully. How to Tell Wild Animals is a beautiful poem composed by the Coral and Wells about the strange habit and behavior of some wild animals. The poet says that Asian lion is a large, tawny beast with a fearful roar. A tiger has black stripes on his yellow skin and is always ready to eat his victim. A leopard has black spots on his skin. He leaves on his prey and eats up a bear. Can come to human colonies. He hugs up a person and can put to death. A crocodile always shed tears while eating its victim. A hyena always looks smiling. A chameleon always changes its color according to its surroundings. And this is the strange world of some of the wild animals. Now students, the way question answer comes in the exam, these are the extract based questions. First of all, I will read the extranja and I will try to summarize. Listen it very carefully and few questions uh, are there which I will answer you. If you ever should go by chance. To jungle in the east and if there should to you advance a large and towny beast if he roars at you as you are dying you will know it is the Asian lion. A student I am going to tell you the explanation of this. In the above lines the poet suggests an extreme situation to identify a lion 
द पोएट सीज दैट इफ द रोअर ऑफ द एनिमल इज सो फियरसम दैट यू फील लाइक यू आर डाइंग देन यू कैन बी ए श्योर दैट यू आर नियर अ लाइन ना स्टूडेंट सी क्वेश्चन आर दे वेयर शुड यू गो बाय चांस सो स्टूडेंट लिसन यू शुड गो टू जंगल इन द ईस्ट बाय चांस सेकेंड क्वेश्चन हाउ डज द डिस्क्राइब्ड एनिमल लुक द डिस्क्राइब्ड एनिमल looks large and yellow colored next question how will you know that it is an asian lion so it will roar at you when you are dying with fear next question what do you mean by the east the east means the country is in the eastern part of the world now next stanza second or if sometime when roaming round a novel wild beast greets you with black stripes on yellow ground just notice if he eats you the simple rule may help you learn the bengal tiger now the explanation is in this way in the above lines the poet says what to do if you are watching wild animals with black stripes or yellow body if he starts eating you then you can be sure that it is a tiger but it is a better not to bait to be a tiger's lunch to identify it now questions are there who is the novel wild beast as we all know the novel wild beast is the bengal tiger next question describe its appearance he has black stripes on a yellow background next question where you will where will you encounter the bengal tiger simply you will encounter him while roaming in the jungle and next question what are the rhyming words in the stanza so the rhyming words are round ground learn discern stanza 3 if stalling forth a beast you view whose height with spots is peppered as soon as he has slept on you you know it is the leopard this will do no good to roar with pain he will only lap and lap again so explanation is in this way in the above lines the poet says that if you happen to see an animal with spots which gives it a salt and pepper appearance wait until he leaves on you because no matter how hard you cry it will continue powering on you so be careful and don't allow it to leave on you now the question how is the leopard's skin the leopard's has spots on his skin next question how does a leopard behave when he meets with a person so when he meets a person he leaves on him at once next question will roar with pain help a person when the leopard has attacked him no it will not help him the leopard will only eat him up which are the rhyming words in this stanza so rhyming words are view you peppered leopard pain gain next stanza 4 if 
when you are walking around your yard you meet creature there who hugs you very very hard but sure it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he will give you just one more cares so see the explanation in the above lines the bird says that viewers are taught to be good wrestler and can give a really tight hug although a friendly hug is referred to as bear hug but if a real bear will hug you then you may not feel friendly at all so the c question name the poem and the poet the poem is how to tell wild animals and the poet is carolyn wells next question where can you meet the bear we can meet the bear around our yard next question what does the bear do on meeting a person so student listen the bear hugs the person very hard when he meets next question what is the rhyming scheme of this stanza so rhyming scheme of this stanza is a b a b now the students see the stanza five if you have any doubt i guess he will give you just one more cares though to distinguish beast a prey a novice might non plus so see question first who is he in the second line so students he is in a bear in the second line how will he react to the human being so students you can see that b uh, may have a doubt about the strength of a bear what can non plus a victim distinguishing beast a prey can non plus a victim now stanza 6 the crocodile you always may tell from the hyena thus hyenas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles student listen in the above lines the poet says that some animals are famous for their weird behavior for example a laughing hyena's voice resembles humans laughing sound a crocodile is said to shed tears while eating its prey so don't wait for a hyena to laugh or for crocodile to weep now questions are how do hyenas how do the hyenas come so answer hyenas come with merry smiles next question what is so distinct about crocodile crocodile is distinct by their weeping next question how can you differentiate a crocodile from a hyena so here a crocodile is always weeping by the hyena looks always smiling next question write the rhyming words in this stanza so rhyming words are like smiles crocodiles now the stanza 7 Uh, the two chameleon is small a lizard short of thing he hasn't any ears at all and not a single wing if there is nothing on the tree this is the chameleon you see now students i am going to explain this is tanja in the above line the poet says that a chameleon or a garden lizard is an expert at a camouflage if you are unable to see a thing 
on the tree then chances are as per its surroundings it is difficult to see this capacity of a camouflage helps the lizard in saving it from hunters now students see the question how does a chameleon look so answer would be in this way a chameleon looks like a lizard next question what two things does a chameleon not have listen very carefully a chameleon does not have ears and wings what students chameleon does not have ears and wings next question where is the chameleon generally found very simple the chameleon is generally found on trees next question why can't we see the chameleon on the trees so student listen we can't see the chameleon on the trees because it can change its body color according to its surroundings now thank you very much